good morning my dear students i hope you all are doing well so continuing with the last class let's start today's class all right so in the last class uh, we discussed that the grandmother was not agreeing to the sayings of the doctor all right she was not agreeing to the saying of the doctor because the doctor told them that uh, the grandmother would uh, soon you know get relief from that fever that she had all right that mild fever that she had but she did not believe the words of that doctor why because she knew that you know her death has come really near all right she would pass at that point of time all right so that is what we discussed in the last class so please take out your book and see page number 6 that is from the last second paragraph we protested but she ignored our protest now what did kushun singh say here is that when the grandmother told them that she had almost reached to the last phase of her life then all of them you know kushwan singh along with all other people who were there they did not able to grasp over this fact that she would pass very soon all right they did not able to bear the words of the grandmother so they started to protest they started to uh, give some kind of objection towards what she said at that time all right but she ignored our protest why why did she ignore their protest because she knew the reality she knew that her death is very near she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beat so that is the last thing that she actually wanted to do all right because earlier she already said that you know she had almost uh, omitted to pray during the last hours of her uh, life all right so that is what she wanted to do before passing away she wanted to recall she wanted to uh, chant the name of the gods all right she wanted to recite her prayer the way she used to do earlier all right so that is what it says here that she started to lie down peacefully in her bed for what reason in order to pray all right for praying and telling her beads so she used to pray to god by telling the beads of the rosary all right even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving just in that time within that time what happened that before kushwin singh and all other people you know get to know about her death before that only what happened is that her lips stopped moving all right what is uh, uh the thing that denote from this line is that she was almost about to die all right so her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers now here lifeless fingers that signify the weakness the meekness and it signify that the grandmother was about to die all right because when a person is alive all the parts of that person body parts of that person is supposed to be lively all right it is supposed to be alive but since she is about to die so all the body parts has started to become lifeless all right so that is what he says here that the rosary fell that is that chain of those beads that she was holding in her hand all right so that rosary started to fell from her fingers a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead now what do you mean by peaceful pallor here uh, that refers to the feature of the face all right that this refers to the feature of the facial expression that when a person is about to die that what happens at that point of time the person that the face of that person slowly and slowly starts to fade the brightness all right it starts to fade the color all right so the face becomes pale the face becomes withered so that is what it says here that no color 
was able to be seen in the face of the grandmother peaceful pallor that is lack of color there was no color uh, in her face and we knew that she was dead and everyone came to know that she was finally dead all right see the next paragraph that is the last paragraph we lifted her off the bed and as is customary laid her on the ground so finally the death has come all right she was dead and what did kushwin singh and all other people staying there do they lifted her dead body from the bed because at that point of time she was uh, just lying on the bed all right so all those people staying there they lifted the dead body of the grandmother and laid her on the ground and covered her with a red shroud shroud means cloth all right so what did they do they covered the dead body of the grandmother with a red cloth after a few hours of mourning and sorry after a few hours of mourning we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral so you must be knowing the meaning of mourning mourning means when a person suddenly dies what happens his or her loved ones used to stay near the dead body and they express some kind of you know uh, sadness they express their sorrow near the dead body by staying there all right so that is mourning that is the meaning of mourning so that is what kushwin singh says here that after the death after her death kushwin singh along with other members of the family and also the people of the neighborhood they were expressing their sorrow and we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral so that morning uh, time was there for some time and after that what did they do they started to make arrangements for her funeral so funeral means you must be knowing that is a ceremony that is uh, normally organized for the cremation of the bed, dead body all right that is for the burial of that uh, dead body all right so that is what he said here that many people started to make arrangements for the funeral of the grandmother in the evening we went to her room and uh, with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated after all the arrangements are being made all right and normally it takes time to prepare to make those arrangements you know to make the arrangements for a uh, funeral so it takes quite time all right so after all those things are done what did they do uh, we went to her room all right that her dead body was there with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated so they took the dead body of the grandmother in a crude stretcher so stretcher you must be knowing that uh, a thing where you know when a person gets injured or some kind of accident happened after that if a person can't walk then what happened that person is laid in a stretcher and that person is taken to the hospital all right so in the same way in that stretcher uh, kushwan singh along with other people they took the dead body of the grandmother in that stretcher and took it to that uh, funeral place the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light all right since it was the time of evening so what happened that it was the time of sunset all right and the rays the reflection you know coming from the rays of the sunset that rays had made her room lit that had lighted her room with golden light we stopped halfway in the courtyard all right then in the meantime while they were doing all the arrangements they just stopped in the courtyard all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows set scattered on the floor now just think you know even those sparrows you know whom the grandmother used to feed earlier so even the sparrows they had gathered together in the veranda why in order to mourn over the dead body of the grandmother 
you know in order to express their sorrow they had all come up and gathered there in the veranda all right and they were just scattered here and there hmm in that courtyard there was no shirapi so sad all right if you can feel it you can see that even those sparrows you know they can feel they can sense you know for the death of the grandmother so in order to express their mourning what did they do they did not produce any kind of sound they all of them all the sparrows were silent at that point of time so that is what it says here that there was no shirapping there was no sound all right all of them were silent we felt sorry for the birds and my mother fetched some bread for them she broke it into little crumbs the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them so touching lines these are all right so what did khushwan singh's mother do at that point of time khushwan singh's mother you know in order to feed those sparrows what did she do she took bread all right and break it into little pieces and fed the sparrows in the same way that the grandmother used to do earlier all right she broke it into little crumbs the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them and after breaking uh, the bread into little crumbs the mother threw it to the sparrows the sparrows took no notice of the bread you know they did not even care they did not even bother for the bread that was thrown to them mm they did not give any kind of uh, they did not show any kind of interest towards the food towards the bread so when we carried my grandmother's corpse off they just flew away quietly so they did not eat the bread that was thrown to them so what did they do they just flew away quietly you know after the grandmother's dead body was taken away from there all right they did not shut up they did not produce any kind of sound they did not even eat the food that was fed to them all right so they also expressed their mourning their sorrow their grief over the death of the grandmother all right so next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin so what happened the next morning since the bread was uh, those crumbs little crumbs of the bread was just scattered in the courtyard so next morning the sweeper came and he just swept away all the bread crumbs from uh, that courtyard all right and he just placed it into the dustbin all right so from these lines we can see that there was a strong bond there was a strong connection even between the sparrows and the grandmother all right even the sparrows can feel they can sense that feeling and emotion that they shared with the grandmother all right so touching you know so touching uh, that even the birds can feel you know they can a be able to mourn over the death of any person all right so in this way the story ends uh, in a very sad note all right i hope this story is clear to you all all right so we have completed this uh, story that is the portrait of a lady by kushwin singh in the next class we shall start with a new either with a poem or again with a, a prose only all right so before that i will be giving you uh, the notes all right the notes for this uh, chapter so stay tuned for that all right and stay tuned for the next video that will be up very soon so for today let's just stop here all of you please take care uh, please study also and have a great day ahead thank you very much